how to find the integer values of x, a, and b. Let's analyze the given equation first. The left side is x to the power of a plus x to the power of b. The right side can be written as x to the power of a times x to the power of b. To make the equation look simpler, let's do substitution. So let p equals x to the power of a, q equals x to the power of b. Because x, a, b are all positive integers, so p, q are all positive integers. So at least greater than equals one, greater than equals one. Now the equation becomes p plus q equals p times q. Both sides subtract p, then subtract q. So we get zero equals p, q minus p minus q. Then both sides add one. So we get one plus p, q minus p minus q plus one. Next, we factor the right side. So for the first two terms, we can take the common factor p out. So p times q minus one. For the second two terms, take negative one out. So get q minus one. Next, we can take the new common factor q minus one out. So we get one q minus one. So thing left would be p minus one. We know p, q are positive integers. So p minus one should be non-negative. q minus one should also be non-negative and also integers. So the only possibility would be p minus one equals one, q minus one equals one, right? Then we can solve p equals two, Q equals two. Finally, we can get back to X. So from P equals two, but we know P equals X to the power of A, and two can be written as two to the power of one. Again, because X and A are both positive integers, so the only solution would be X equals two, A equals one. Similarly, q equals two, but q equals x to the power of b, and two can be written as two to the power of one. So we get x equals two, b equals one. So we get a unique solution for the given equation. x, a, b equals two, one, one. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.